Well, hello, welcome back to What's Happening Now. I'm your host, Jenny Liker, and this is Next Tech's local events and attractions show. And today we have a kind of a holiday showcase and a good variety of things that are coming up. And I don't know about you, but I love the holidays and we've got something cool going on in Hoxie that we're gonna start with. So I have here with me, Sam Funk. And Sam is um, on the chamber uh, for the Hoxie uh, Chamber of Commerce. You're one of the board members, I believe. That's right, yes. And Sam, um, we're here to talk about Hoxie, is it Hoxie Winter? Winterfest or Hoxie's Winterfest? Well, it's Hoxie Winterfest, and what goes on there is it's a customer appreciation night. Um, and it's something that the Chamber puts on every year, and it's been happening since 2008. Um, it's a really fun event. It's a great night to come out, uh, kind of celebrate the beginning of the holiday season. Um, you know, bring your family, bring your friends, bring everybody you want to bring, because it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, like I said, it started in 2008, um, and it's something just to say, hey, thanks guys for, for um, coming to our businesses and really supporting Hoxie. Uh, it happens the day after Thanksgiving, uh, so you know, you have the family in town, you have people around visiting, you need something to do, this is a great thing uh, to kind of come out and do. Um, there's a lot of cool events, like I said, you get uh, food, if you come down you get food, you get hamburgers, uh, chips and everything down at Bain and Oil, uh, then you can go on down the street, kind of wave your way all the way down the street, and you get soups, uh, homemade soups actually, they're mm. really excellent stuff, uh, hot dogs, uh, sometimes caramel apples, uh, hot cider, um, hot chocolate, um, cookies, it's, it's a great time of the year. Uh, Santa Claus is there, and Santa Claus is there to kind of welcome in the holiday season, take pictures with uh, your kids or take pictures with the whole family and stuff like that. And so it's a lot of fun. Wow. So all of this, this is all free. It's just an appreciation event for the entire town, basically. That's right. Yeah, it's all free, and we're even giving away some prizes. Uh, you know, you can go on and get tickets from each of the booths and go to the businesses, and, and as you're patronizing them, you can get some uh, little uh, tickets there and sign up to win some prizes. They give away hams, they give away turkey, so we give away chamber bucks as well so you can spend them back at uh, the chamber businesses and so all that stuff is, is not only it's free food and free entertainment but also you can win some things there. Uh, about a thousand people came out for it the last few years and so it's a great time at Hoxie. Wow, so, so not only do you get to get all this free stuff but that's a way to kind of kick off your holiday shopping too right that's right that's right the businesses are open that day and not only the businesses that are downtown but also some tables are brought down kind of booths set up from the businesses that are on highway 24 as well so uh, like taylor implement hoxie implement uh jocelyn's the grocery store there they all bring uh stuff downtown and just kind of celebrate all with us so we're all together it's a really it's a really neat event to, to kind of kick off the holiday season and enjoy your time in Hoxie. And this starts during the day, but it goes into the, the evening, right? So what kind of things happen as it gets dark outside? Sure. So yeah, it starts out and we have hay rack rides. We've got a horse and buggy, like a horse and carriage sort of a deal. Uh, we have great activities for the kids. Um, there's a little train that kind of runs around to pull the kids around and they have a blast with that. As it starts to get dark in the evening, uh, we turn on the Christmas lights for the first time in Hoxie. And the downtown Christmas lights in Hoxie, if you've never seen them, it's really, really uh, something to come out and see. Uh, the lights are down both sides of the street kind of like normal in most towns but there's lights that go over the top of the street and then the really unique thing and the really neat thing I think in Hoxie is every business has a Christmas tree out front and they can decorate how they want and put lights on how they want and all those are on the same switch so when we turn on the lights down the street the, all the Christmas trees are turned on as well it's a really really pretty thing to see when it, when it all comes on uh, and at night we start lighting some bonfires and, and kind of uh, get going that way too so it's a really neat event so. and s does Santa come a little bit early to give the kids a little heads up or a little advantage on getting their word in that's or right. that's right yeah it's right after thanksgiving so sometimes these kids are the first ones to get to talk to santa let his elves know how to get mm -hmm. to working for him and get to working for her get your kids all their gifts lined up early santa comes and talks to them uh they can sit on his lap you can take pictures with him yeah he's there to to kind of help kick off the holiday season and, and get everybody excited well i'm sure the kids love the chance to kind of get their you know make sure they get their request in first before like you know the new iPads, Santa runs out of those. You can only make so many iPads, right? That's right. So. That's right. You know, it's, there's limited parts, and so you got to get your iPad requests in early. That's yeah. right. Well, make sure 
make sure you guys bring your kids out so they can get the request in with Santa. And the, the hay rack rides, were, like, do those just kind of go up and down Main Street? Or? Uh, it kind of goes around town a little bit. And the carriage ride's the same thing. Uh, it goes around the courthouse in that area and kind of comes back downtown. So uh, you kind of get kind of the full effect. Uh, the whole street there, you know, cars can still pass through. If you want to go from Overland to down to Grainfield or something, you can still get through the town of Hoxie. But, uh, you know, there's not many people traffic uh, that going north and south through Hoxie that night. And, um, but, yeah, the whole street is just packed, packed with people. It's You'd think you're in a, a big East Coast city or something with how many people are, are down on that street. Uh, like I said, about 1,000 people came out wow. last year for it. Uh, we gave around $2,000 worth of prizes out with hams and turkeys and uh, chamber bucks and things like that for drawings and everything. And the drawings, you know, you want to sign up at every business you can. The more tickets you have, the more people you have with you, the better chance you have to win. Uh, so bring your family, bring your friends, have everybody sign up and go to every business along the way to, to not only get the homemade soups and brats and cookies and hot chocolate and everything, but also uh, to get your tickets in so, to win some prizes. So, you know, you can get your full meal at Boehner Oil and get your chips and hamburgers, but uh, kind of go throughout the whole way and, and, and get everything else, too. So. Well, it just, it sounds like it's going to be just a great night for the people in Hoxie, the people in neighboring towns and come on over that Friday after Thanksgiving when your house is full of family, you don't know what to do with them. Ha, you got built in entertainment. That's so right. That's right. make sure you guys plan to head down to Hoxie the day after Thanksgiving and, and take part in Winterfest, get some free food and win some prizes and just uh, enjoy visiting all the local businesses there. Well, Sam, thank you so much for telling us about your event. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back. Dignity, respect, professionalism, commitment, and fairness are the five core values you can expect from All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. At All Face Funeral Chapel, they consider it an honor to serve you and your family and their community. Built in 2010, their large state-of-the-art facility includes dining and reception hall to accommodate large funeral dinners, even anniversaries and weddings. They also sell customized monuments and offer pre-arranged services. All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. Angels Care Home Health, serving Russell and all the surrounding areas, is a Medicare certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing services to patients in their homes or wherever they reside. So she takes my blood pressure and listens to me breathe and ask me how I'm doing. Whatever the need, Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Contact Angels Care today for more information on our home health services and how we can help you stay healthy. Angels Care Home Health, we serve patients. When a storm leaves your home battered and damaged, there's only one thing you can do. Forget all about it. The men in black at Aquashield Roofing and Construction have the skills and knowledge to fix your home so you'll forget the damage ever happened. Along with roofs, they do siding, guttering, insulation, windows, doors, and more. With offices in Hugoton, Oberlin, and Liberal, they're never too far away when damage strikes. When you need to forget about home damage, call the men in black at Aquashield Roofing and Construction. Did you know? It's not just water, it's better water. Better Water with Smith Center completes all your hydration needs. They sell Lundy Spring systems, including water softeners, reverse osmosis, water coolers, and bottled water. They won't just install your system, they will service and repair it too. Better Water can repair Echo Water systems and all other major brands. They offer softener salt sales and delivery for your convenience. Serving all of Northwest Kansas. It's not just water, it's better water. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedar View Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. You're in the right place, the see it before you buy place, the professional staff place, the have it delivered place. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance has real stainless steel with fewer fingerprints and smudges. Ranges with true convection speed bake. Quietest in its class dishwashers, refrigerators with the freezer on the top, the bottom, or side by side. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th and Hayes. The best price place, you're in the right place. We're back. I was just visiting with Roger Bixenman over the break, and Roger's back with us from the Hayes Recreation Commission. And we know there's always tons of stuff going on there. And of course, you've got 
special things lined up for the, the holiday season that's coming up. So, Roger, what kind of things can people look forward to signing up for and participating in over the next couple of months? Well, the first thing we have is Saturday, December 5th, we have our holiday showcase workout, which uh, showcases our aerobic classes, our group fitness classes. Uh, all of our instructors will be there to, to showcase those, and it is free. Um, and we'll be selling punch cards for the, the group fitness classes that day. And I believe it's at 8 o'clock in the morning. So you can come out for that. Um, a week prior to that, the end of November, we have the uh, Friday uh, boot camp workout, the Black Friday boot camp workout. And they can come out and, and get a little taste of the boot camp uh, with our instructors that day as well. So, And then uh, December 12th and 13th is our annual City Lights sleigh ride. Um, right now, we're still trying to find a location for our second night. Usually we do it at Presbyterian Church, but they have a, a live nativity scene that night, so it just doesn't work out. Um, but on Saturday, we'll be at 29th and in Entrail at the uh, uh, Cornerstone Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And it starts at 6 o'clock, and it's a horse-drawn sleigh. And you, the sleighs go about every 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And uh, sleighs hold about 12 uh, riders. And uh, Right now, uh, the cost is $3 a person, um, but we are looking for a sponsor, so if we find a sponsor, uh, that'll be free to all of our patrons. So, And that'll be Saturday, December 12th, and Sunday, December 13th. And of course, you can come out early or stay after your ride and, and enjoy the hot chocolate and the cookies and the candy and, and the cider and all that good stuff. So. Do people... <clears throat> Is there, do people have to sign up ahead of time or do they just show up that night? We do ask that you sign up. Uh, we do have tickets on sale. They'll, they'll go on sale the first part of November. And so we do ask just so if the rides fill up, uh, you can always come out and drop in and see if we have some room available. Uh, we used to be able to take about 15 to 20, but the sleighs are a little smaller this year. So this year we're only able to accommodate about 12 per ride. Um, so they probably will fill up. And, and like I said, we start at six and the rides, he's got two sleighs and the rides go every 30 minutes. And uh, the last sleighs go usually around eight o'clock in the, in the evening. So, but you do need to purchase your tickets in, in uh, the HRC office. So do people, is, is it kind of a, 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 to go around and get to see the Christmas lights? Mm -hmm. Is there kind of like a special path you take or? We do, and, and it's a path that takes about 20, 25 minutes, the ride is. And uh, of course, we'll, on Saturday night, we'll be around the northeast part of Hayes, um, just off Indian Trail. And so we asked all the folks in that area if they can please turn their lights on or have their lights on uh, starting around 6 o'clock so we can view that. But it's just a kind of a fun Christmassy type thing and, and uh, we do try to view all the lights in the area and just uh, hopefully have a good weather type of night because we've had some nights where it's been really cold and uh, of course if we have any snow or ice or anything like that with the, with the horses that pull the sleighs uh, we won't be able to probably have it but uh, We'll hope for good weather those two days. So we'll do a little knocking on wood ahead of time. That's and, right. <laughs> and I know, I know, uh, there's some really fantastic light displays in Hayes. So that'd be that'd be a really fun way to see them with everybody. Exactly. Like I said, get you out. Uh, usually, we'll sing some carols on the sleigh and and just have a jolly good old time. So well, good. Now you mentioned. Um, punch cards uh, for the workout classes, and that's one thing. I don't know if we really touched on that before, but that's kind of something that's unique about at, uh, the gym there mm -hmm. is that you don't have to have a gym membership to do the classes. That's right. right. Uh, you can you can attend the classes. They're $2 each time you attend, or you can buy a punch card, which I believe is $20, and or, yeah, $20, and it gets you 12 punches. Uh, so you do save some money by purchasing the punch card, or you, know, you can just come out to that holiday showcase workout and, and see if you like any of the classes. Um, before you know you want to maybe purchase a punch and and I know we'll have uh, uh, cards available that day to purchase um, and then also we'll have some drawings as well for some free punch cards that day as well. Now there's some other sport uh, type of things that are coming up there's always some different deadlines so what what kind of deadlines are coming up? Um, on In December we'll have our indoor soccer league and of course we play that down at 13th Street gym with the walls that are, are built up and so it works out pretty well down there and we have a high school division as well as a junior high division. And then also we have adult uh, division that will start. Um, the adults are on Sundays and the kids are on Sundays as well. And they'll start right after the first of the year. But usually we have anywhere from six to nine adult teams. And then we have about that many uh, of the high school and the middle school. So if you're in middle school or high school or adult, uh, teams come to us already for them. So you can just put your teams together. Um, and then also we have our high school basketball intramurals. We took that over from the high school a couple years ago. And uh, that deadline's in December, and then we'll have our preseason tournament Friday, December 18th out at the rec, and it's for boys and girls, uh, any high school student, they get their teams together and, and just uh, come by the office and sign their team up. 
Well, I didn't. I didn't even know we had indoor soccer league. So we we do. We've been the, doing it for a while. The cool thing <laughs> is too is everything that is coming up is always on your website, right? All the the mm. deadlines and that's all, correct. All that kind of stuff. Because I was reading it today, we could have probably had an hour long show going through all the stuff yeah. that you guys are doing. There's there's uh, you know different holiday activities like gingerbread house making. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's stuff for kids, and you've got classes for uh, 55 and up and that mm -hmm. kind of thing too. And, yep. Um, so, as always, we uh, encourage you to go to the website, which is hayesrec.org, right? That's correct. And they can also, they can call down to the office they as well. They can, and that number is 785-623-2650. Well, thank you again for coming back and Thanks for having updating me. us on all the fun stuff. So, check out the website or give them a call, and then uh, make sure you sign up for those Hayrec rides, or the sleigh rides, mm -hmm. early, because it's a really good time. We've, I've done it before, and you'd have a lot of fun. So. We'll be right back and we're going to learn about uh, a place in Russell that you can go and see some amazing art. New technology comes out every week and it can be hard to keep up with new features and buttons each new phone, computer, and tablet have. You could soon be the tech savvy person in your family if you watch Next Tech University. Available on Next Tech Channel 1 and Next Tech VOD, Next Tech University will give you the tips and tricks to master your latest device and make you the person friends will run to with questions. Watch Next Tech University on Next Tech Channel 1 and video on demand. You should never run out of the important Why stuff. Why If your current wireless plan leaves you at the end of your rope, imagine how you'll feel with Next Tech Wireless with unlimited everything. Next Tech Wireless gives you the freedom to go as far as you want. Next Tech Wireless, something different. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Oh, let's see who's free. Jerry. When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael. their options are simply limited. But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers & Associates to learn more. Great news, Next Tech customers. Now you can play Sunday Fun Day Bingo every week for your chance to win cash prizes and free service. Play along with your bingo cards included in your Next Tech bill. Or go to nexttech.com slash bingo to print out your own cards. Tune in to Next Tech Local 1 Sunday nights at 6 p.m. Bingo is brought to you by Genuine Appliance America Mattress, Angels Care Home Health, AquaShield Roofing and Construction, Rogers & Associates Insurance, Cedarview Assisted Living, Next Tech Wireless, All Faiths Funeral Chapel, and Better Water. Restaurants, gyms, salons, libraries, and more. Next Tech has over 100 free Wi Fi hotspots to keep you connected. Dignity, respect, professionalism, commitment, and fairness are the five core values you can expect from All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. At All Face Funeral Chapel, they consider it an honor to serve you and your family and their community. Built in 2010, their large state-of-the-art facility includes dining and reception hall to accommodate large funeral dinners, even anniversaries and weddings. They also sell customized monuments and offer pre-arranged services. All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. Dignity, respect, professionalism, commitment, and fairness are the five core values you can expect from All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. At All Face Funeral Chapel, they consider it an honor to serve you and your family and their community. Built in 2010, their large state-of-the-art facility includes dining and reception hall to accommodate large funeral dinners, even anniversaries and weddings. They also sell customized monuments and offer pre-arranged services. All Face Funeral Chapel in Smith Center. So as I promised you, we're here to talk about a, a museum or cultural center in Russell. And we love on our show not only to tell you about events that you can go do, but also just attractions. And there are so many cool things that you can do in our area. And one of them that you may not be familiar with 
is the Dynas Cultural Center in Russell. And I have Shannon Trevethan with me, and Shannon is the director of the Dynas Cultural Center. And mm -hmm. we are so excited to talk about this. We've been trying to get you guys on the show, and it finally worked out. <laughs> and so tell us, uh, for everybody that doesn't know, what is the Dynas Cultural Center? How did, how did this all come, how did you guys get this started? Okay, well, we are in our 25th year. Um, we uh, are a small art center in Russell. Um, we were started, uh, the building was donated by the Dynas family. Um, they had a family member, Hubert Dynas, who was a, one of the prairie printmakers. Um, so he did um, uh, wood engraved printmaking. Um, and we have, a, we have his collection of work. Um, we do uh, rotating exhibits about every six weeks we bring in a new art exhibit um, from regional. We've had some national artist, art exhibits as well. Um, admission is always free. We get to bring in people um, for our art openings each month and um, they get to enjoy new art, meet artists. and. Um, that's always a, a really great opportunity when you, you know, live in some of our smaller towns. It's amazing how much culture we really have and to have something like that in Russell. And in addition to going out and looking at the different exhibits and stuff, you, you have activities that people can participate in as well. Is that right? Yes, we do. We do monthly painting classes. Um, every second Sunday of the month, we have an acrylic painting class. Um, we just cover the basics on color theory and we paint from still life. Uh, participants are, are invited to bring their own wine uh, for the event and we provide all the materials. So that's kind of like probably people have seen these pictures on Facebook or something where two or three friends will go together and you and you have a, one subject that you paint usually right mm -hmm. and so everybody gets their chance to paint it and it's amazing everybody turns out looking like they're like gifted artists at the end so I know you guys do <laughs> a wonderful job maybe it's the wine I don't know but yeah. it seems like everybody has a lot of fun doing that it is and is that something that's free or people pay a small fee to do that there's, there's a small fee to pay for that and that just covers the cost of the materials and how do people, do they have to sign up ahead of time or they just show up that night or? Um, it's, it's nice if, to call ahead. Um, that way I can be sure to have enough canvases for everybody. Um, and this, so they just call down to the, the cultural center to do that? Yes, yes. Okay. And then you told me that you kind of are working on kind of a, maybe like kind of like a pottery type of thing. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, we had a, uh, a gas fired ceramic kiln donated to us in the spring. Um, so we're working on the installation of that. Once we get that started, we will have a, a functional ceramic studio. Um, we'll be able to bring in artists to teach workshops for beginning ceramics. Um, and then also we'll have an open, stu open studio time for um, professional and experienced uh, potters. That's wonderful. So this is a, Potter's wheel stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, is that just part of it, or is that primarily what it'll be teaching people how to use it? Or? Yeah, well, we have a, we have one potter's wheel right now. We're working on getting a couple more, um, and then you know we'll have we'll have uh, artists teaching hand building and different ceramic techniques, and then um, and firing and glazing. That's really that's really something that's unique. I mean, that maybe there is some things like that in our area, but I, I'm not familiar with it. And I still remember doing that in seventh grade, we got to use the potter's wheel and it was one of my favorite, very favorite things. And so it's something probably people of all ages can learn and, and enjoy. Absolutely. And what kind of art do you have, do you expect to have coming up in the, in the uh, you know, over the kind of holiday period that people might want to stop by and see? Well, on November 20th is our members reception mm -hmm. um, and that is open to the public. Um, we have a new exhibit coming in uh, titled Storytellers. Uh, it will feature five different artists working in different media. Um, and I hope the artists will be available to talk to, um, but they are, they're coming from different parts of Kansas. Um, so we've got some from the, from the Garden City area and then some from down in Great Bend. Um, we serve wine and appetizers, um, and it is, it's a free event. Um, so it sounds like everything, most everything there is just open to the public. You just want to give people a chance to, to experience the art. Absolutely. Do you have a Facebook page or a website or anything where people can learn more? We do. We have a Facebook page and we have our website is uh, dynasculturalcenter.org. Mm -hmm. And so they can go to the website, they can follow you on Facebook, and then also what, uh, what's the number if they would like to call down and ask questions? 785-483-3742. Uh, Wonderful. Well, Shannon, it's so great to hear about another place that people can go and enjoy art. 
And so I encourage you throughout the year uh, to check out what's going on there and, and make one of, sometime make a visit to Russell and check out the Cultural Center. We'll be right back. Angels Care Home Health, serving Russell and all the surrounding areas, is a Medicare certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing services to patients in their homes or wherever they reside. She, she takes my blood pressure and listens to me breathe and ask me how I'm doing. Whatever the need, Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Contact Angels Care today for more information on our home health services and how we can help you stay healthy. Angels Care Home Health, we serve patients. When a storm leaves your home battered and damaged, there's only one thing you can do. Forget all about it. The men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction have the skills and knowledge to fix your home so you'll forget the damage ever happened. Along with roofs, they do siding, guttering, insulation, windows, doors, and more. With offices in Hugoton, Oberlin, and Liberal, they're never too far away when damage strikes. When you need to forget about home damage, call the men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Did you know? It's not just water, it's better water. Better Water with Smith Center completes all your hydration needs. They sell Lundy Spring systems, including water softeners, reverse osmosis, water coolers, and bottled water. They won't just install your system, they will service and repair it too. Better Water can repair Echo Water systems and all other major brands. They offer softener salt sales and delivery for your convenience. Serving all of Northwest Kansas. It's not just water, it's better water. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedar View Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. You're in the right place, the see it before you buy place, the professional staff place, the have it delivered place. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance has real stainless steel with fewer fingerprints and smudges. Ranges with true convection speed bake. Quietest in its class dishwashers. Refrigerators with the freezer on the top, the bottom, or side by side. Frigid Air Gallery and Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th in Hayes. The best price place. You're in the right place. New technology comes out every week, and it can be hard to keep up with new features and buttons each new phone, computer, and tablet have. You could soon be the tech-savvy person in your family if you watch Next Tech University. Available on Next Tech Channel 1 and Next Tech VOD, Next Tech University will give you the tips and tricks to master your latest device and make you the person friends will run to with questions. Watch Next Tech University on Next Tech Channel 1 and video on demand. Hi, thanks again for tuning in. We uh, had a great time talking to Shannon about the Dynas Cultural Center. The Winterfest in Hoxie is going to be a lot of fun. And then also make sure you check out hazerec.org and uh, see what kind of things are going on that you can sign up for. As always, if you have an event coming up in your town, let us know. We'll see if we can feature you on the show because there's always something going on in our area. You just have to look. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.